Good morning. Good to see you this morning. We are so glad that you're here with us. Uh, we're really glad that you're here with us this morning. Uh, we're glad that you are, hey, you've chose to worship with us. We're glad that you have uh, chose to sing with us this morning and to, and to be in this building together with us this morning. In fact, we're really glad to see you. We're happy that you're here. If you're here for the very first time, we want you to know that we've been praying for you and that we've been praying for you to come. And if you are here for the very first time, we want you to know that the big thing for us is we want you to experience a warm welcome. We want you to experience the love of Jesus, the grace that God gives to us so freely in Jesus. And so there's a little, um, there's a little slip of paper in your bulletin. This is a bulletin. Um, in that, there's a little slip of yellow rod paper or golden rod paper, yellow paper, that you can fill out your information on. Um, if you're here for, uh, for the very first time, so that we know that you've been here, but also more than that, that we can let you know about the upcoming events that are going on in uh, the ministries of the church. So we are blessed, we are grateful that you are here, we love you, and we want you to experience the love of Jesus too. So let's stand together and let's sing together as the band leads us in this time of singing. Everyone needs compassion, a love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a Savior, the hope of nations. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. He rose. Take me as you find me, all my fears and failures, fill my life again. I give my life to follow everything I believe in, now I surrender, I surrender. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of my salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Shine your light, shine your light. Let the whole world see We're singing for the glory of the risen King Jesus, shine your light and let the whole world see We're singing for the glory of the risen King Savior, Savior, He can move the mountains my God is mighty to save, He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Savior, Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He 
rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Shine your light, church. Shine your light and let the whole world see. We're singing for the glory of the risen King. Jesus, shine your light and let the whole world see. We're singing for the glory of the risen King. He rose. Amen. My page turner's slacking over here, so <laughs> bear with me a second. <laughs> Capo two guys. <clears throat> but that's all right. We all came to worship. Amen. 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 Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made this heart adore you. Hope of a life spent with you. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're altogether lovely, altogether worthy, altogether wonderful to me. of all days, oh so highly exalted, glorious in heaven above. Humbly you came to the earth you created, all for love's sake became Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. And I'm never it calls to see my sin upon that cross I'll never know how much it calls to see my sin upon that cross here I am to worship here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. And here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Now 
not too shabby, guys. You know, Jesus said, suffer the little children, let them come to me. So this morning, we're all little children in God's eyes. He's not looking for self-righteous religious people who follow the letter of the law. He's looking for people with hearts like kids who trust in an unseen God. And when the world says it's crazy, well, you know what? I want to be a lunatic for Jesus. I really do. I don't want to make any sense. I love not making sense. So when you come to God, come as a little child and let your light shine. This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I know you know this one I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Hide it under a bushel, no I'm gonna let it shine Hide it under a bushel, no I'm gonna let it shine Hide it under a bushel, no I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine don't let Satan blow it out. Come on now. I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Shine my light till Jesus comes I'm gonna let it shine Shine my light till Jesus comes I'm gonna let it shine Shine my light till Jesus comes I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine. Come on now. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Nice and loud. Here we go again. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine Rock it out, this little light of mine This I'm gonna let it shine Shine on, this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine Be seated. So as we uh, spend some time talking to God, and that really is all prayer is. Prayer is simply having a conversation. And even though there are moments where that conversation seems to be one-sided, meaning just us, I think it's in those moments of quiet in that conversation that God does speak to us. Or maybe it's not audibly. Maybe it's not always through the scriptures. But maybe sometimes it's just that nudge. The gentleness of God's presence to remind us that no matter what's going on in our lives, that God chooses to be with us. So let's pray together.
God, this morning we pray that you would speak louder. That, God, you would speak more succinctly. That, God, you would make us very aware of your presence. That, God, that when we sit with you, or we walk with you, or we drive with you, or when we're just simply living our lives in the best way that we can, remind us that you are our constant companion, that the Holy Spirit, your gift, your counselor, your presence goes with us. That God, no matter what we're experiencing, remind us of who you are. Remind us of your love. Remind us of your grace. Remind us of your faithfulness. Remind us that, God, no matter what is happening within our lives, even though there may be a kind of a roller coaster ride of emotion with up and down and all around, frontwards, backwards, that, God, even in those moments that you choose to be with us, that, God, you shine that light in the midst of our darker moments. That, God, you are with us, God, that even though there are moments where we, we bargain with you about what our future may hold, we pray and we're grateful, God, for your timing. That, God, you know what is needed and necessary in our lives. That, God, you are greater than all of that. That, God, you're not intimidated by what we experience or even what we feel or even the questions or the doubts that we may have. That, God, you choose to be with us in those moments, reminding us in that to wait. To simply wait. To wait. So be our courage to wait. Be our strength when we wait. Be our comfort and our peace. And God, especially our hope. So God, in these moments, when there doesn't appear to be a formula of how to surrender, in our head and our hearts, we give to you those people within our lives that need you. But in that quiet place, God, in our head and our hearts, remind us that they're not the only ones who need you, but God, that we need you. Remind us, God, that we are, we are flawed. We don't always get it right. And God, if, even if we do, you're the one who brings it to our lives. And so God, even though there are those in our lives that we know need you and need that grace, need that new life, that resurrection experience from death to life, God, we need it too. So God, in all of this, we, we pray this prayer that Jesus taught his disciples, and that prayer, friends, is on the screens next to me. We call it the Our Father. In some churches and other churches, we call it the Lord's Prayer. But let's say this prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So a couple quick announcements coming up. I just want you to be aware of this. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Teat, 
uh, you can go ahead and to the back so when I'm done announcements, the kids can run to you. Uh, just a couple of quick announcements. On Wednesday night at 7 p.m., um, we're hosting, um, we're hosting uh, the place for the Riverside, Delran, and Delanco Historical Society. Uh, their presenter is uh, Chuck Vale, who wrote uh, Natural Genius to learn about the U.S. Navy's first submarine. So that'll be here, right here in this space. Um, also on all, October 24th at 6 p.m., uh, not this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday, uh, we're going to have dinner with the Moravians, just because. There is no other agenda. I just want you to be aware of that. There is no agenda. It's just a time that we get to spend with other people. And we're just giving us place and a space for us for that to happen. Um, also, don't forget about our um, guys' breakfast. Another opportunity to eat on October 27th at 8 a.m. That's on a Saturday morning. That's the fourth Saturday of this month. Um, we're just going to get together, spend some time together, and um, learn a little bit more about each other or not. But it's an opportunity for us just, again, to be together. Don't forget about our children's ministry, our Sunday school. That's for um, kindergarten through fifth grade. Uh, if your kids feel comfortable enough in going, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Teed are in the back. So kids, go ahead. Kids, you're allowed to go. And uh, we also have nursery during this time as well. We have our uh, prayer ministry at 6 on Wednesday nights, our youth ministry at 6.30, and we have our small groups on Tuesday morning, and we have a Bible study on Wednesday night as well. Um, and we're having a new study coming up for once a month for our, uh, some of the women in our church at 7 p.m., and it's called Do You, Do you Want to Walk on Water? It's based on John Ortberg's book, If You Want to Walk on Water, You've Got to Get Out of the Boat. And the first meeting, the first time together, will be on Monday, November 5th, and that will be at Georgie Moritz's house. Uh, more information about all these things coming up will be in your bulletin. So, um, Also, please don't forget, and I'll be talking about this again before my message, uh, we have Light Tonight um, on Wednesday, October 31st, 5 uh, to 8 p.m., and it's a wonderful opportunity for us to be light. You got to like that, how everything kind of winds up to be the same, right? To be light in our community. To be with our kids. Let them know that we care about them. Let them know that this is a safe place to be. And so we, for that, we need volunteers, as always. We always need volunteers to run games. Uh, volunteers to sit at the table to greet people warmly. But we also need your candy. And I'm not talking like the, the lousy bubblegum candy that, you know, you know, it's kind of cheap. I'm talking like the good stuff, like, like Tootsie Rolls and, and uh, those mini little candy bars. Honestly, guys, I'm joking with you. Bring what you can. Um, we're going to have a box in the back uh, for that over the next couple weeks. Uh, you can drop it off at any time on Tuesday mornings, Wednesday nights. Um, Thursday nights as well, you can drop that candy off and you can drop it off on Sundays as well. But you can drop that candy off whenever you get a chance. It's just an opportunity for us. We served 450 people last year. We're looking forward to serving more. So I'm going to ask the ushers to come forward at this time to collect our offering. Our offering is a part of that ministry that we do here. We give because when we give, we give it to God and allow God to determine what God needs to do with it. And part of that is the different ministries of the church. So guys, come forward at this time for our offering, please. So let me pray. And so, God, we are grateful, thankful for all that you've given to us. And so, God, now we give back to you what is yours so that the ministry of the church of uh, Dobbins Church uh, continues not just simply exist to be a light in our community. And we pray this, God, in your son's name. Amen.
Um, so I'm going to ask you to stand with me. We're going to sing God of Grace and God of Glory. That can be found in your hymnals as well. It's found on 577. But the words will show up on the screens next to Joanne as Joanne leads. Extraordinarily busy, sir. Uh, I just wanted to ask about the chocolate. Uh, the lifetime supply of chocolate for Charlie. Well, when does he get it? He doesn't. Why not? Because he broke the rules. What rules? We didn't see any rules, did we, Charlie? Wrong, sir. Wrong. Under Section 37B of the contract signed by him, it states quite clearly that all offers shall become null and void if, and you can read it for yourself in this photostatic copy, I, the undersigned, shall forfeit all rights, privileges, and licenses herein and herein contained, etc., etc., fax mentis incendium gloria calpum, etc., etc., memo bis punitor delicatum. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You stole fizzy lifting drinks. You bumped into the ceiling, which now has to be washed and sterilized, so you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. You're a crook. You're a cheat and a swindler. That's what you are. How can you do a thing like this? Build up a little boy's hopes and then smash all his dreams to pieces. You're an inhuman monster! I said good day! Come on, Charlie. Let's get out of here. I'll get even with him if it's the last thing I ever do. Slugworth wants a gobstopper, he'll get one. Mr. Wonka? So shines a good deed in a weary world. Charlie! My boy. You won! You did it! You did it! I knew you would! I just knew you would! Oh, Charlie. Forgive me for putting you through this. Please, forgive me. Come in, Mr. Wilkinson. Charlie, meet Mr. Wilkinson. 
pleasure. Slugworth. No, no, that's not Slugworth. He works for me. For you? I had to test you, Charlie, and you passed the test. You won. What? What? The jackpot, my dear sir. The grand and glorious jackpot. The chocolate. The chocolate, yes, the chocolate, but that's just the beginning. We have to get on, we have to get on. We have so much time and so little to do. Strike that, reverse it. This way, please. Thanks, Nate. So we've been looking over the last couple of weeks, or last week and now this week, we're looking at this idea of what's normal and how we are to respond and at what appears to be what everybody else is accepting as normal, we as a people of God are to respond or at least we are responding in an abnormal way. So the word normal means to conform to a standard. Normal means usual, typical, or expected. It could also mean usual, standard, ordinary, customary, conventional, or the noun is the usual, or typical state or condition. So here's what I've noticed as normal in our world currently. And normal meaning it's accepted or expected or typical or average there's a lack of peace. There's a hopeless or helpless stage of life and living, or graceless, as Don Henley wrote in one of his songs, we live in a graceless age. We worry about the future. We pledge our allegiance to all the wrong things. There's a distrust of others. There's fractured families. There's kids without parental influences. This isn't life as we know it or should know it 